G'day everyone, in this video today we're just going to go over the animated title templates that are available in vMix 22 and later. We're going to show you how you can add them to your live video production and how to use them in the title editor. Now as of vMix 22 we've added a new graphics engine called vMix GT. Now vMix GT allows you to have real-time, high-performance, GPU-based animated graphics. So we have all of these animated templates that are available in every edition of vMix that you can use in your live video production. Now if you did want to create your own custom animated templates or use custom animated templates, you will need to have vMix 4K or Pro. And as I mentioned before, we do have over a hundred animated title templates that can be used in every single edition of vMix. Now if you do want to create custom static titles or tickers, you can use the vMix GT Title Designer as well. Now if you've got some great suggestions for animated title templates in vMix, feel free to send us an email and we might be able to add it to the next version of vMix. Now we did ask a lot of people before releasing vMix GT in 22, uh, and we did use some of those suggestions in the, uh, the title templates. So now I'm going to show you how to add a title. Okay, so if you're really new to vMix, um, in order to add a title, you just need to go to the Add Input section, and then go to title slash XAML. Now the XAML refers to the old titles that we had in vMix prior to 22, and those can still be accessed in these sections here. Now the ones that have the GT prefix in front of them are going to be using vMix GT graphics engine, and they're going to be animated. So all of these templates in here are all animated titles that you can use in your vMix production in every edition of vMix. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to simply add one, we're gonna select it, and then click OK. And by adding a title, it'll add to your production here. So you can see this input, and then it will also open up the title editor. So the vMix title editor will allow you to edit the content on this particular animated title. So for example, we can put our name, and as you can see down here, it's changed, and we'll go with the description, and that has now changed on the title. Now, with the title editor, we can do a lot of different things. We can change the size of the font. We can change the font, the color. Um, we can spell check it. We can add presets. We can do it live or not live. So if we make changes here, we can add all the changes and then we want it to go live. We can press the live button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this here. As you can see, we've got the animations coming up and I'll show you some examples. So if I select this, I can change the font size, change the font. Um, change the size as well if I wanted to. I'm just going to leave it this size. Change the color. Click apply. We'll see what it looks like. Yep. Click OK. Uh, and then we can spell check it as well. No spelling mistakes found. We change them here. Um, we can try spell checking this again and we'll see that we've got a spelling issue uh, and then we can change it. Or we can right click as well. So if I do this um, and then I can change the a little red line will appear. I'll show you like so. And we can right click and we can change it to the spelling we want. Okay, so underneath that, you'll see the presets. So I can click this to add Tim Assistant to the Regional Manager as a preset. So if I wanted to change the title, um, typically you're not gonna be doing this live in the program, I'm just doing this today as a tutorial example. So let's just say um, we've got Jim here and he is the Regional Manager. So now I can add this as a preset as well. So now I can switch between Jim and Tim whenever I need to use them. And again, you wouldn't necessarily have this in the program, the output. You would be changing this while it wasn't live. Now, by pressing the live button down here, we can make changes to the title if you did have it uh, in the program. So I can make changes like this. And then when I go live, you'll see that it's gone live with those changes as well. All right, so that is the title editor. In order to access that, you just right click it and select title editor. And you can also change between the titles by going to Tim, Jim, like you'll see all the presets available down there. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and add another title. Now I'm gonna show you some of the different title elements that you can use. So what we're gonna do now is select this title one element blue here. Now we'll go ahead and we'll change the content here with description, here we go. Uh, and let's throw this one up, let's animate it. So this one's got quite a few different elements that come up as they animate. It's got rectangles, it's got lines that come up and as it goes out, you know, it's gonna fly out to the side as well. So let's bring this one back up. Now you notice on the side here we have your image, 140 by 140 pixels. So in the title editor, we can actually change what this image is. So by going to the logo image here, we can browse for an image, we can select it, and then we can add our own logo here. So now we've got our own image in the production. So you remember that it was 140 by 140, so typically you'll probably wanna have a square image here, um, just so it looks right. Um, 
so I've got this square image here. This is a thousand by a thousand or 800 by 800. So that's a square image to go in there. Um, so it looks its best. Now, um, yeah, so that's how you can add a, an image in this particular one. So let's close this out and go and find another title with a, a different element in it. So you have different ones like this one here, which is just a, doesn't have any secondary text. It's just a single text option here like so, that'll zoom in and zoom out. Uh, and again, we can change the color of the, the font and the text on that one. Uh, let's go and add another one. Uh, what have we got here? Now we have other ones as well. This one's a, a bit of an interesting one. You can change the logo here also. Uh, we can browse for this one here and we'll see what it looks like. So let's move this one. This one, happened, quite a bit happens with this one. Uh, so a lot of different things happen at different times. So, that, you know, you can go through and have a look at the different titles and see if you like specific ones. So let's just go down to the bottom. Some of them have alpha in them, like this one here. Can we use this one? So this one kind of just overlays on top, doesn't have a background to it. And let's find another one. Okay, so these ones down the bottom here, we've got a scripture in verse, blue, gray, and tall. So these ones, it's it's always been easy to add scripture to vMix. It's just a matter of creating a title and adding the um, the text in there. Uh, but these ones kind of make it a little bit easier. So we will have a section down here where we can add an image, uh, and then we can have the message. So you could type in the scripture here, and then the verse is for the book, chapter, and verse down the bottom. Um, so that's something that you can kind of easily add to your production now. So you just need to copy and paste the scripture content in there. All right, so we have another element here. So we've shown you the, the um, image element. We also have another one here. So this is title 24, we're gonna select it. And you'll see here, let's just throw this one up. You can see that I've got a your image 180 by 180 and it's spinning around. Well, you can actually add your own rotating logo here by browsing for your image, selecting it. And then that will now be added as the rotating image. So you could throw a logo here, um, or a picture if you wanted to, if you wanted to have that spinning around. So that's something that you can add to this particular title. Um, and then obviously you could change the headline and that type of stuff as well. Now this one is also featured in some of the tickers. So I'll show you some of those now. So in the ticker section, you can see all of these tickers are available in this uh, in vMix GT. Uh, and the ticker is gonna be a lot smoother than the older um, tickers that were available in the um, previous graphics engine in vMix. So what we're gonna do now, we'll go back to ticker. So I'll show you this one down the bottom. We'll click OK. So basically what we have, we have the different elements. So we have the headline description, like we had before, headline description that are written there. Then underneath we have ticker text, uh, and then we'll have a clock and the rotating logo as well. So again, if we wanted to replace the logo, we can select it. And now we've got a spinning cube here. Um, we can add ticker text here if we wanted to, um, like so. So now we've got uh, ticker text. And then we can change the clock. So the clock, this one is currently set to the time of day. We've also added a new clock section down here to make it a little bit easier to select the right clock for you. So things like um, the date, time, month, and time. As you can see, it's a little bit too big for this section. So we could just make this a whole lot smaller and fit that in. Um, it's not really going to work too well. So we can change the clock to something else if we go time of day um, for this one, we make that bigger again. So that's gonna use 24 hour time uh, as opposed to using uh, the other version. So there's a different different clocks that you can add here and then you can add some more options as well. Um, if you go to our website, if you click that link. Okay, so um, let's try another one. Let's try a different type of title. Um, let's go to our scoreboard title. Now the scoreboard title here, you'll notice that there are a lot of different elements. Let's just close some of these down. I'm going to open up this one. You'll notice that there's a quite a few different elements that are on this particular title. So we have things like the home title, the home score, the away title, away score. So the home title is this section here, the home text. We can change this to, you know, if we wanted to. Uh, and then the home score is this section here underneath it, which actually has the score information in it, as you can see. So if we change this, We've actually added a data change element on this. So when the two, when you change content on here, it's going to do a zoom in fade, just like so. And then obviously the away title, 
um, there, and then the away score. So if we change this, you'll see that action. Uh, and then we've got text information here. So these two title areas here, you can add your own text to, or you could delete that entirely if you didn't want to have um, text there. Then we have the clock. Like we mentioned before, you could do a, a countdown timer if you wanted to, or you could set a clock. Uh, and then we have these squares. So you could leave them as red and green, or you could browse and up your, upload your own color, like just create a small image of that particular color, or a logo or something that you could put behind it. So for example, if we put this behind it, it's um, going to look a little bit weird because it's going to be stretched. But if you had your own rectangle image, you can upload that there um, for an example. So that is one of the scoreboards. Uh, and then obviously we can transition that off. Um, we'll just have a look at another one of the scoreboards here. So this is a kind of a lineup scoreboard where we can go through and we can add all of the different players that are coming into the team. Um, so we can change the home player text to, to me, like so. Uh, and then we can use that as a part of our production. All right, so the one last uh, title that we've got for animations is the vMix social titles. So we go to title, we can go to GT social, and then we can add a vMix social title. So we're going to select one here. Then you can connect it up to vMix social and start bringing in your social media comments like YouTube and Facebook and that type of thing. So I'm going to show you quickly what that looks like. So that's how it would animate and it will populate all the content from vMix social for you and then we'll animate out. Okay, so thanks for watching this video today. If you do have any questions, please send us an email via the support page on vMix.com as it's very difficult to uh, answer YouTube comments with technical answers. So I'm just going to add one last um, title here and I'm going to overlay this. So thanks for watching today and um, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.